Hey guys, today I have an easy progression drill to help with not pulling your hands too far back in breaststroke. As you can see, this video is going to be a little different today because I have my sister Anna doing the drill for me. Anna's worst stroke is breaststroke, so I thought it would be perfect to have her do this drill and show a great before and after. So let's get started. For those of you who might not know, in breaststroke there is a limit to how far back you can pull before it starts to impact how much water you can hold and the timing with your kick, which hurts your forward momentum and speed. It's important to get the most out of the pull and these progression steps will help with that. The first step is using a kickboard. Lay the board flat on the water and hold it in the middle. Begin to pull your elbows back as if you're taking a full pull. Take a breath as you lift up, add your kick as normal, and complete the stroke by laying flat once again. This step is just regular breaststroke, but you're holding the kickboard in a way that doesn't allow you to pull your elbows or hands too far back, as long as you keep the board flat on the surface of the water. Also, in keeping the kickboard flat on the water, this enforces a more shallow and smooth pull. The second step is holding the kickboard in your left hand only. Keeping the board in the same flat position as before, move your hand so that you're holding the end of the board with the rest of the board pointing out to the left. Your hand and arm will stay straight as you do a full pull with your right arm. You do need to focus on not pulling too far back, but having your left arm straight out will help prevent that. Finish your pull with a strong kick and glide to flat on the surface. Make sure you repeat this drill with the other side. The third step is removing the kickboard and pulling with both hands, except you're doing flutter kick. I've done this particular drill in a few different progression videos, and that's because this is one of the best and most versatile drills you can use for breaststroke. For these progression steps, this drill helps reinforce your pull out in front and makes it really difficult for your elbows to come back too far. The most important thing to remember for this drill is to make sure you don't let up on your strong flutter kick and you don't let your hips drop. Also remember to fully finish every stroke with your arms straight and your head down. This is always a great drill to add to any breaststroke pull progression as an extra step to reinforce the new technique you just learned. For the final step, you're going to do regular breaststroke, but make sure it's slow and controlled. Just copy how your pull felt in the previous steps, but if you're having trouble, keep repeating the progression until it feels more natural. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what other drills you want to see. Please give this video a big thumbs up if it helps your breaststroke, and subscribe if you haven't already to see more. Bye!